Hello. Hello. Please take a seat. This is the speaking test for the International English Language Testing System held on the 25th of March. The candidate is Lena Richter, candidate number 012459, and the examiner is Jane Smith, number 555687. Good afternoon. My name's Jane Smith. Good afternoon. Can you tell me your full name, please? Yes, it's Lena Richter. Thank you. And what shall I call you? Please call me Lena. Where are you from? I am from Germany. Can I see your identification, sure. please, Lena? Here's my passport. Thank you. In this first part of the test, I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself. Now, do you work or are you a student? I'm a student. What are you studying? I'm doing a master's degree in museum studies. Why did you choose that course? I'd like to work in a museum or art gallery one day and I hope that this course will help me find a job in that sector. Do you think you will remain friends with the people from your course in the future? Yes, uh, I probably will. It's a very small course and we spend a lot of time together doing group assignments and studying. Okay, now let's talk about your favourite place. What is the place that you most like to visit? Mm. Oh, uh, let me see now. Well, I really like going to the local library. Why do you like it there? Um, I suppose because it's quiet and it has a nice selection of newspapers and magazines and the range of books is really good too and there's a cafe next door. How often do you go there? Probably about once a week. Is it easy to travel there? Yes, it is. I can catch a bus from my place to the shopping centre where it's located. Is it a popular place for other people to visit? Yes, it is. Uh, a lot of children go there and it's very popular with students and elderly people. Now let's talk about your daily routine. Tell me about a typical weekday for you. My daily routine. Well, I'm a student, so my classes start at 8 and that means so during the week I usually get up about 6.30, um, have a quick shower, get dressed, catch a bus to university. I am always running late, so I don't have time for proper breakfast. I just grab a coffee. Um, I have classes all day and get home at about 5 p.m. And after dinner, I usually try to do some study. Do you work or study better in the morning or the afternoon? The afternoon, definitely. I'm not really a morning person. It takes a while for me to wake up properly. What would you like to change about your daily routine? Change? Um, I suppose I should try to make more time for a proper breakfast in the morning because by mid-morning I get really hungry. Is there a balance between your work time and your leisure time in your daily routine? Do you mean like is it equal? Um, yeah, I suppose so. I've been studying a lot recently because of the IELTS exam but I have a week's holiday coming up and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I'd like to do some more exercise because I think it's important to take some time out from study every day. Thank you. That brings us to the end of part one. Now I'm going to give you a topic and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you talk, you'll have one minute to think about what you're going to say. You can make some notes if you wish. Do you understand? 
Here is some paper and a pencil for making notes. And here is your topic. I'd like you to talk about a meal you have had that you really enjoyed. All right. Remember, you have one to two minutes for this, so don't worry if I stop you. I'll tell you when the time is up. Can you start speaking now, please? Sure. I'm going to talk about a lovely meal that I had while I was on holiday in Greece. I'm vegetarian, so it is sometimes hard for me to find something to eat when I travel. This meal was very simple, but it was delicious. It was a Greek salad made of lettuces, cucumber, tomatoes, olives and cheese. And it just had a very simple um, sauce, I mean dressing, poured over it, made from olive oil and lemon juice. My next point is who prepared the meal? Well, I don't really know, but I can tell you about the restaurant. I remember it was very small and we sat outside in a lovely courtyard. There were plants and flowers all around and a nice cool breeze blowing. Anyway, I decided that the safest option for me to order was a salad. I wasn't really expecting very much, but when I took my first mouthful, I was in heaven. Like everything just tasted so fresh and full of flavor. The tomatoes were so sweet and juicy, the cucumbers crisp and the cheese creamy. When the waiter came to take our plates, he said that the secret was in the ingredients. All the vegetables had been grown in the family's garden. So that's why I will always remember that meal. Thank you. Have you told other people about this meal? Yes, yes, I have. Thank you. Can I have the task card and the paper and pencil back, please? Thank you. So we've been talking about a meal that you enjoyed and I'd like to discuss with you one or two more general questions related to this. First of all, let's consider children and food. What's the best age for a child to learn to cook? Um, oh, I don't know. Let me see. Maybe about eight or nine. Why? Because I think it might be dangerous if the child is very young, you know, using a knife or cooking things on a stove, you know, that sort of thing. Whose responsibility is it, in your view, to teach children to eat healthily? Oh, the parents, definitely. It all starts with them. Parents must teach their children to eat well. They shouldn't give them junk food all the time, otherwise children can get addicted to it. Do you think children will eat more healthily in the future? Well, sadly, I don't think they will. Fast food is so common nowadays and people are so busy, so it's an easy option for families. 
I think there will be more health problems in our society in the future caused by poor diets. Moving on now to talk about eating habits. Does food play an important role in your culture? Yes, uh, I think it does. When we have family get-togethers, there's always a lot of food. And we have a big meal when we celebrate religious holidays. I guess that's the same in most countries. Food usually is connected to big cultural or religious festivals. Would you say people in your country have a healthy diet these days? Or did people eat more healthily in the past? That's a difficult question. I think both diets could be healthy. You see, traditionally in Germany, people ate quite plain food like potatoes, meat and bread. But they ate vegetables too, so in my view, I think the diet was quite healthy. And now our society is so multicultural, especially in the cities, that we have many other cuisines to choose from, such as Indian or Turkish. So we can have a varied, healthy diet. So, yes, I think both the traditional and the modern German diet could be healthy. Just the people need to make the right choice. Do you think it's important for a family to sit together to eat a meal in the evening? Yes, ideally, um, if it's possible. I uh, My family lives in another town, so... I can't have a meal with them very often. Thank you. That is the end of the speaking test. Thank you.